I look like a wild child. What is going on here? You can barely see me. I'm like back in the darkness. Anyway, what's up guys? Um, dang it, I keep forgetting my intro because I hardly make videos. Um, what's up guys? What? What's up guys? Welcome. What's up guys? Thank you for joining me for another episode of Abuse Rx for MD. It's your girl Alicia Nicole. Today I am taking you along for part of my shopping haul because I am just starting to collect some things that I'm going to need for my new apartment. I should have started this video yesterday actually because my mom and I um, went to the store. Bed Bath & Beyond was having a store closing sale. So I wanted to go there and see if I could get some of like the big items that I wanted. I think my camera is crooked. Ooh, that's awkward. That was a relatively big purchase and some other things which I will show you when I get home. Today I'm just kind of looking around to see what I can get where. So it's more like decor and just the little household items which you will literally be surprised how much stuff you forget you need. So that's why I'm glad I'm starting now um, so that as I think of items that I forgot, I can go ahead and add them to my list. I just, you know, want to see what Ross has because I was just thinking about, oh, where can I get stuff, where can I get stuff? And I completely forgot Ross has a pretty bomb home section and the great thing about Ross is it's high quality stuff for cheap. So if I see something I absolutely love and must have, um, I'm getting it. So I must have accidentally hit Oops, okay. Ugh, today's not my day. I think I accidentally like hit the power button so my phone blacked out and I was like, I hope I didn't lose all that footage. strike out in the comforter department the last place I'm gonna look is Target and I'm so mad because I literally passed Target to come here but they do have a great assortment of pots and pans which I'm really excited about hey guys I am so excited because I did find a pot set that is pretty it's blue and it is not um, the like non-stick coated. It is ceramic coated. 2,000 years later. Anyway, I think now is a good time to just talk about um, just budgeting and preparing to move out, to move into your own apartment and um, just, you know, how to allocate a budget for your apartment expenses. The way I handled my finances in terms of saving was basically, like, I wanted to be able to buy whatever computer monitor I wanted, whatever, like, little decorative items in my apartment, whatever I was going to actually buy to decorate, like, the rooms in my apartment, whatever I was going to buy for my desk setup. Like, I created a budget and I wanted to save enough to be able to just buy it off buy it all outright you know with the cash and not owe anybody anything and then basically once I move into my apartment and start school and everything all of those expenses like you know recurring expenses like grocery or rent or gas all of those things are gonna come out of my loan money it adds up quickly especially if you're not paying your interest as it accrues um, any added money to your loan balance it grows exponentially so as much as you're able to just cover out of pocket I would recommend you do okay so let's start with the bed bath and beyond so I got like a I guess you could say apartment size ironing board it's not the whole full size but I don't really need one like I have never used a full size one up until this point this was 25 25% off so the retail price was $9.69 and I got it for $7.27 so I got these dish drying mat, a two pack. These you can get anywhere, but I just saw them, so I got them. This was the retail price was $10.49. I got it for $7.87. Um, I got a big 50 
pack of hangers, 50 for um, $20. So, okay, now this was really important to me. This was a must have. This is just a um, couch cover, designer suede, three cushion sofa slip cover, 100% guaranteed to fit. This was really important to me because I definitely appreciate the fact that the apartment is fully furnished. Um, and for the most part, it's not an issue. I mean, you can sanitize hard surfaces, an actual mattress you can deal with. Um, but you know, it's just kind of the idea of like, I don't know who farted in this couch, like. So this is really important to me. This retails for $42.49 and I got it for 50% off. So I got it for $21.24. So that was a steal. The Simply Essential. And this, like, my main dishes were something I didn't really want to get at, like, the dollar store because I wanted to be good quality. Um, I don't mind for, like, cups, like, glass cups. It's not that big of a deal, but, like, plates and bowls and things that, like, go in the microwave. I just wanted to make sure I got good quality material. So I did see this Simply Essential um, 12 square dinnerware set, 12 piece service for four. So it has the large plate, the salad plate, and a bowl. And the price surprised me so much. I was so happy. I can't remember the retail price, but I got the whole set for $15. I got these two pillows. You're gonna see a whole lot of pillows because like, let me just go ahead and insert my vision for my bedroom right now. Um, yes, I love different color pillows. I love different um, textured pillows and a lot of pillows it just makes it look really soft and plushy so this was a two pack deck of pillows i really only needed one gray one but it came with two so whatever that i went ahead and got a four piece full sheet set egyptian pot <laughs> one other really big thing that i got from bed bath and beyond was actually some storage for like over my toilet um just because i don't want to kind of junk up the bathroom with little units you know in this corner and that corner um, that's still in the car. I was just too tired to, to get it out. But it's a two-tier unit, and I believe it is um, like a brushed nickel or bronze. And that unit <coughs> retails from thirty dollars. I got it twenty-five percent off, so I got it for twenty-two fifty. And the rest of this is not too exciting. I mean, got a mint for my kitchen. I think my kitchen theme is gonna be blue, so. To a pack of two towels. I'm not even gonna go over the prices. It was decent price. Um, and then I have two plungers for the bathroom and two waste baskets. So that pretty much sums up the Bed Bath and Beyond trip. So we can go ahead and move on to Ross. On one of the things that I was so so excited to see that they had at Ross was actually one of these folding laptop desks. So anyway, I saw this and it was only ten dollars. This I pretty much have all the pillows I need except I want one gold or silver one, and then I need the actual comforter. But <laughs> I saw this really cute pillow that says "Family is everything," and I wanted pink to be the main color. This pillow was $10. The comparable value is $18. Pillows are expensive, guys. And then this is a slightly darker, um, almost like flamingo shade of pink because I like when I have color families, not necessarily exact matches. And I like when I have a variation in texture. So this is a very unique texture from like the gray pillows that I showed you. And this one. Um, and it's a slightly different color as well. So this pillow I got for $8.99. The comparable value is $14. And then I got some white pillows. A set of two white pillows. Y'all are probably like, man, girl, where are you going to sleep? All these pillows. Don't worry about it. It's my business. So this is a set of two white pillows. And again, these have their own texture. I got two pack for $14.99. The comparable value is $25. Okay. Washcloth, I just got a pack of them. Um, a six pack was $5. Okay, so I only have one of these, but I was really excited to see what they had. Mattress protectors. I always use mattress protectors on my beds. Um, I'm, I'm going to need to get another one, but I was like, hey, I see it there, so I'm going to get it. This is a queen, but it will work fine for a full-size bed. 
this I got for $17.99, which this is a really pretty sheet set that I think will go well with kind of like the pink theme. I don't think I'm overdoing the pink because my whole like comforter is gonna be white and then the comforter set is gonna come with a few white pillows of its own. And this is a four piece full sheet set, one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. And this I got for $16.99. These are dishcloths. Microfiber, a pack of $5, comparable value. Oh, it says it right here, a pack of 10. Goodness, can I read? But yes, I got those on the end of like my bed when I make it up. Um, I want to be able to have like a little throw on it, a pink, kind of dusty pink throw. And this was absolutely perfect. It is so soft. It's pretty big. It says full slash clean. So I think it's supposed to be like the length of the bed, but Got this for $17.99. I just got a few kitchen items. So I got one of these. This is like a lemon juicer, lemon and lime. Um, we use this almost every time I cook, I feel like I use this in my parents' house. So I was like, you know what? I absolutely need to get my own. This was $4. I got a set of measuring cups. Of course, blue, because that's what my theme is gonna be for my kitchen. This is Favorwear Professional, which is a very good brand. And I got this for $5, copper value of $9. All right guys, so last but certainly not least, we have our Walmart spree haul, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, I just wanted to get like a relatively small, pretty simple vacuum. Literally, ah! The cheapest one I could find was $40. But um, yeah, so I just went ahead and got this Power Force Compact Bizel or Bizel, I don't know. <laughs> don't roast me if I said it wrong. Back then, like I said, I do have a lot of hard surface floors. So went ahead and got the Swiffer Wet Jet. Um, and this is the kit. It comes with um, three mopping pads, Wet Jet Heavy Duty pads, two mopping pads. Okay. So one is heavy duty, there's three of those, and then the regular mopping pads, there's two of those. There's one solution in here and four batteries, so, and then it came up to $22.97. Not bad, not bad. Hot set! 12 pieces, which I'm so excited about, in keeping with my blue theme for my kitchen. These are ceramic coated cookware. All right, so it's Mainstays, which is a pretty decent brand. It says one fry pan of a certain size, another fry pan of another size, a mini omelet pan, super cute, one saucepan, yes, yeah, so these are both saucepans, and then this is considered a Dutch oven. Okay, and then these are the spoons. So I got this for $39.97. As I promise we're getting to the end. So this is gonna be huge for me in terms of staying organized. This is a dry erase whiteboard. I always, always, always love having a large calendar in front of me just to look at quickly and reference any important dates coming up. Like this was $12. So I purchased two baking dishes. Most of the time, this is gonna be enough for me for like a couple of servings. So I got two of the same size um, for my little kitchen. And I believe these were $5 each. Yes, I did go ahead and get a metal spoon for if I'm cooking anything that needs a spoon, as well as a spatula. So these are pretty typical. Um, last is the towels and everything. One kind of decorative towel for the guest bathroom and I did get like a hand towel to go with it and I'll probably just put like a little white towel over it. Um, this has like this more blue side that you could use to kind of um, contrast the other one. I believe the big towel was $9 and the hand towel was $5.72. So that price was pretty much consistent. Um, another large towel just in gray just in case like I don't want to get too matchy matchy you know with the oh pink towels here blue towels here there's a gray one and then I got a pink set just kind of like a patterned large pink towel this one was not nine dollars um, that is everything oh my goodness guys 
Um, I didn't get every single thing I'm gonna need. I still have a few things on my list that I, you know, haven't purchased yet, but I wanted to get the essentials, like the stuff that college students are likely to buy up, um, because that is a college town. So Walmart has spent $245.30, $241.02 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, $161 that I sent, spent at Ross. So I spent about $650.00. Which is not horrible. Um, I was planning on spending $650 total. Um, but remember, a lot of these expenses are going to be one time expenses. You know, you don't have to buy a vacuum again. You don't have to buy towels again. You don't have to buy um, dishes again. So they're going to be expenses that you kind of um, grow into over time, if you will. That's it. I am tired. I am thirsty. And I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this huge home first apartment shopping haul. I will keep you guys updated on anything else that I'm going to be purchasing in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's reach more.